Hello and welcome to part one of Evaluate's video series on evaluation, the secret sauce in your ATE proposal, a video series for individuals applying to the National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program. This video series accompanies the August 2019 webinar. My name is Lisa wilson Becho, and I work on training for Evaluate, located at Western Michigan University. Evaluate is the evaluation hub for NSF's Advanced Technological Education Program. Be sure to check out Evaluate's website to learn about our many resources, blog posts, and to see annual data on the ATE program. This video series was designed for individuals planning to submit proposals to NSF's Advanced Technological Education Program, or ATE for short. The ATE program is focused on improving technician education, mainly through two-year colleges. It funds projects in high-tech areas like advanced manufacturing, engineering technologies, nanotechnologies, and so forth. Before we get started, I should point out, although Evaluate is funded by the National Science Foundation to provide guidance on evaluation matters, we do not speak for NSF. So this first video focuses on why you should include evaluation in your ATE proposal and how a strong evaluation plan can make your proposal really stand out. If you're unfamiliar with evaluation, evaluation is the systematic determination of a project's quality and effectiveness. An evaluation will not only help to document that the project did what it was supposed to do, but also document the project's contributions to improving technician education and the workforce. The most important thing when it comes to preparing a proposal for the ATE grant is that you have a sound plan for how you're going to make a contribution to improve to the improvement of the technician education. So when you can add in a strong evaluation plan, it will give your proposal a competitive edge, increasing the chance that your good idea will be funded. Evaluation is really important to the National Science Foundation. Celeste Carter, the NSF ATE project director, states here, if you don't evaluate and assess your activities and outcomes, you can't know if the project was really successful. She continues to say, evaluation provides the project team with data to convince others about the success of the project, as well as contributing to the body of knowledge in that particular area of STEM. Evaluate has created an evaluation plan checklist for ATE proposals in order to organize the different elements of a good evaluation plan. In the next few videos in this series, we'll go through the different sections of this checklist, including how to find and identify an evaluator, writing high quality evaluation questions, linking your data analysis and interpretation, communicating and use throughout an evaluation, and including an evaluation timeline in your proposal. The final video in this series also reviews other areas of your ATE proposal where you want to consider including information about your evaluation. In the next video, we'll be looking at the essential elements for an evaluation plan and choosing and identifying an evaluator.